Malka. I'm not your soldier. Tantrum Records. So this time it's personal. That's the sound out for the third album as Malka by Glasgow's Tamara Schlesinger who has written songs for TV shows and films such as Skins and 127 Hours after first making waves as frontwoman of acclaimed Alpho Collective Six Day Riot. Now if you think that may result in an album heavy on balladic confessionals, think again. It marks a shift from the more acoustic earnestness of her previous band to pristine, dynamic synth-pop with just enough of a twist to keep those with an ear for quirk happy. This is wall-to-wall -wall early 90s dynamic indie pop, playing like a Saint Etienne with new production techniques and equipment to play with. Produced by Paul Savage, who has worked with Mogwai, Franz Ferdinand, King Creosote this is definitely not capital fodder. The Bright Eye Day New World starts this soft Afrobeat-influenced party going but, and like most of the album, fights womanfully to stay the right side of bubblegum. Next up comes the pounding get up with a neat sit out sounding air and it's come on, let's go and break the mold refrain, as if putting a fist in the air to create a revolution. The song, like the whole of the album, is coated, however, in a slightly sugary pop coating, which while engaging, can hardly be described as subversive. It typifies the former international gymnast's relentless pursuit of earworm hooks, mesmeric percussive rhythms, and neatly fashioned synth melodies with some weirdness and psychedelia but not too much to put off a general audience. It is the album's positive, independent outlook that is its charm, with moving together starry I do la 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 hook and irrepressible moving come on come on together message one of the standout tunes on offer. Schlesinger returned permanently to her native Glasgow from London this time round, as much to work with Savage than anything else, and it is his ability to let the sequined elements breathe that make this all work. Nine tracks in comes the breathy Tiny Fires, a delightful example of how the light and shade production and inventive art pop sensibilities come together to striking effect. The only ballad comes at the end and it is the beautiful lullaby Close Your Eyes that shows Malka at her most obviously intimate. It was written for her daughter and son. After the politically charged 2017 album Ratatat, this is a joyous life-affirming return and the Scots' most consistent and appealing album yet. What does the artist say? I think it's fair to say it's more personal, she says. When I first started doing Malka I didn't want to sound like Six Day Riot. I didn't pick up a single acoustic instrument, I didn't try to emulate that sound. Ratatatat then had a formula which I stuck with but for this album I just felt for more on this story, visit the news article link.